morning, Eastern View. It's a great day to be a Cyclone. Welcome to our daily news. Good morning, Cyclones, and welcome to EVTV Live. Today is Monday, March 6th, 2023. I'm Wyatt. And I'm Caleb. It's a B-Day today at Eastern View High School, and we're following a regular bell schedule. In the EV Cafe today, our lunch menu features spicy chicken on whole wheat bun, pizza, green beans, and fruit or juice. Tomorrow's breakfast will be super donut and fruit or juice. Students, don't forget to bring your IDs to the cafeteria. The annual Pyramid Choral Concert will be held on Eastern View High School Auditorium on Thursday, March 9th at 6 p.m. This concert will feature choral performances from the Pearl Sample Elementary, Floyd T. Benz Middle School, and Eastern View High School choirs. Admission is free. Come out for a great night of music as we continue to celebrate music in our choral months. Athletic Boosters will meet on Monday, March 6th at 6 p.m. in room 801. Seniors, it is imperative that you order your cap and gown unit as soon as possible if you haven't already done so. Jocelyn's needs six to eight weeks to make sure that it is tailored to your measurements. Go online to www.jocelyns.com or call 1-800-JOSTINS today to place your order. Your cap and gown unit includes the tassel you will wear for your graduation ceremony and is all that is required for graduation. Also, it's not too late to order your senior wear graduation announcements and class jewelry. Attention seniors! Senior ads for the yearbook are still on sale. The deadline to purchase one will be March 11th. Senior ads start at an eighth of a page and can be purchased for $50 and will increase to a full page up to $250. Out of school guest forms for prom will be available in the counseling suite from Miss Losher starting on Tuesday, March 7th and will <clears throat> also be available on the junior and senior Google Classroom pages. All forms must be returned to Miss Losher by Friday, March 31st. Forms will not be accepted after March 31st. The EVHS FFA chapter will be holding a school-wide pet supplies and food drive this week. All supplies will go to, toward the Culpeper Humane Society Pet Pantry, which distributes the unchained dogs of Culpeper, seniors, veterans, and the disabled, as well as low-income families. 100% of these donations go straight to families in our community so they can keep their pets instead of surrendering them due to difficult financial circumstances. Please look at the flyers posted around the building as the Humane Society has specific food they are in need of. Donations can be dropped off to Ms. Suter or Ms. Shin's classrooms in 506 or 507 downstairs across from the library. Attention juniors, seniors, and staff. We will be hosting our spring blood drive on Thursday, April 20th from 8 to 2 in the auditorium. Students must be 16 or older and will need a signed permission form before registering for a time slot to donate. Please see Mr. Hartle in room 403 for more details. Now to Riley and our showcase on Women's History Month. Margaret Burke White was an American photographer and documentary photographer. She is best known as the, foreign, as the first foreign photographer permitted to take pictures under the Soviet's five-year plan, the first American female war photojournalist, and having one of her photographs, the construction of Fort Peck Dam on the cover of the first issue of Life magazine. These are her words. The camera is a remarkable instrument. Saturate yourself with your subject, and the camera will take you all but take you by the hand and point the way. Happy Women's History Month, Eastern View. At this time, please pause for a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance.
At this time, please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Cyclones, and happy Monday. The sun is shining. My hair is all over the place. It's going to be a wonderful day. Congratulations to the EV Concert Band for once again earning the highest rating of superior from each judge at the annual Concert Band Assessment in Charlottesville this weekend. Way to go, guys. That is awesome. Also, congratulations to everyone that had pieces in the art show. I went Saturday, and I was like, oh my goodness, look at this art. It was awesome. Uh, each high school principal, myself and Dr. Soderholm, got to pick a top prize from the other school. And I was walking around looking at art going, I like that one, then I read it, Eastern View. I like that one, Eastern View. I like that one, Eastern View. So like all the good, good, best stuff, totally Eastern View. I don't know anything about art, but I think ours was the best. Which leads me to my next bop thought. Sometimes you're just going to get deep inside of the psyche of Nate. Bob. So speaking of art and things that I don't really know about, story time with Bob on Monday morning. So I have the microphone. Here we go. Uh, when I was 34 years old, I think I went through like a quarter life crisis is what we're going to call it. And my grandmother, um, who had recently passed, she was just the best woman to ever walk the earth. Uh, she had this painting in her house and she often said it was the only romantic thing her husband ever did for her is buy her this painting. She wanted it, and he said no, and then surprised her with it. Apparently back in the day at Sears, man, we're going way back, in the 60s at Sears, you could buy art. So you could walk in there and buy original works of art, and that's what he did. And it hung in her family room for obviously my entire life. So then my dad got it, and I was like, dude, I need that painting. And he was like, no, no, no. Finally, he gave it to me. So where, what does this have to do with anything? Well, we're talking about art. So sometimes, um, again, my quarter life crisis, I was like, I wonder about the history of this artist. It's Gustavo Bardi is his name. So what does this have to do with the quarter life crisis? I kind of got obsessed with this artist and bought almost every piece of his art that you could find in the world. I was having stuff shipped from Germany, Australia, the United States. Now, this is not great art. It's all like the exact same. It is Italian fishing boats on canvas. So I have this big one of my grandma and then my whole living room is surrounded. Every wall has a piece. It is ridiculous. I look at it going, what the heck is wrong with you? Anyway, quarter life crisis. I got obsessed with this artist simply because my grandmother really liked this piece and I have about 10 of them from all over the world. Currently there's one on eBay right now. We are going back and forth on price because what he wants is ridiculous. But yeah, um, don't be obsessed with things that don't matter. Hope everyone has a wonderful day. If you find any of this art, give it to me. Goodbye.